Hi, YouTube family. Good evening. It's me again, Lakia. <laughs> Coming back uh, to you guys with another weekly update. So, this is actually my sixth week post op. Six freaking weeks. I can't believe it's been that long. Six weeks post, post op. And um, I just want to say, hey, I'm here. All is well. I'm actually feeling really really good this is my second time trying to do this video the first one was going so well you know when you're like you're speaking your heart and you're saying something good and then bam something goes wrong and it just deletes so you guys know what i'm talking about i hate when that happens but that happened to me however i will not let that deter me or discourage me because you know i just want to come and talk to you guys so i hope you guys had a successful healthy happy uh productive thank you that's the word I'm looking for a week and I hope everything went well for you guys so I'm coming back to you guys with an update so I told you guys a little while before I had given been given a challenge by my surgeon to lose 11 pounds this month by mid-november let's say 15th of November he wanted me to have lost 11 pounds and I came to you guys with an update last week I had lost two pounds so this week my grand total is one pound <laughs> one pound now guys I have to be honest I was pretty bummed out one pound I was so hurt and discouraged I don't want to say discouraged but it is discouraging that's what I'll say it's discouraging and you know I worked I worked my ass off this week. I do three miles a day on my glider. I walk outside. I have been diligent on my protein consumption, my, my water to the best of my ability. I don't always hit the mark on my water, but I've been doing the best. I have been diligent on my food choices because now that I'm able to eat more, I'm starting to, you know, realize that there's more that I can eat, you know. So... I have been doing everything that I possibly could to hit this mark and it just did not go where I wanted. I wanted to lose three pounds. I only lost one. So I'm at 261. And like I said, guys, it really hit me because I know I worked my butt off. However, I have adopted a mentality, a belief system, a, 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 just a way of thinking and seeing that at some point, if I continue to do the right things and I continue to do all that I'm supposed to do, I will be rewarded. And that just reminded me of a scripture that I used to lean on. And I can't think of it word for word and I don't even know the, the book or the verse or the chapter. But I'll find it and I'll come back with next week with it with you guys. But it basically went, God will bear the 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 consequence of our obedience when we are when we do everything obediently you know we are rewarded from above god shines his light on us and i don't want to get preachy because i know everyone has a everyone has their own belief system but this is a universal law and i say this to say if we continue to attract and be in a positive state of mind we will be rewarded so although I did not meet that mark, that expectation this week, I realized that I am on a journey for the rest of my life. This is not a week journey, a one week journey, a one month journey, a two month journey, a seven month journey. This is a journey that I plan to be on for the rest of my life. There may never be an end while I breathe. However, I know that I'm going to give it everything I have to enjoy my, my trip on this path. So I did not hit my goals, but I did lose one pound and officially I'm 261. However, on a more positive note, uh, NSV, I guess it is a scale victory actually. Since I have begun my journey, I am officially down 50 pounds. I have lost 50 pounds, not since, obviously not since surgery, but in total. And I'm excited about that. I've never in my life ever lost 50 pounds. I've come close to it, but never lost 50 pounds. So that is a victory for me in and of itself. So although I did not 
win this particular battle. I'm winning the war. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm winning the war against obesity. So I'm down 50 pounds and... Hello? Yay me. And I'm excited about it. And, um, you know, it, it, it really keeps me going. It keeps me going. It keeps me looking forward to another week. It keeps me looking forward to another day. Like I said, guys, I, you know, I do everything that I have to do to meet my expectations on a daily basis. And I'm going to continue to do that until I see those results. And, you know, sometimes we do fall prey and we fall victim. As much as we all say it, I've said it, and I've heard so many other people on YouTube say it, you know, don't compare yourself. And this is just a little sidebar for all the pre-op or recently post-op people. I still consider myself recently post-op, although it's been six weeks. You know, do not compare yourself to anyone else because even I, I fell victim to saying, oh my God, well, this one is so far and that one is so far and this one, you know, had it in there so far and why am I still here? But your journey, and don't forget this, is unique to you. Your body is different. Your experience will be different. Everything will be different. I know that I'm going to see the results I want because I have a big goal that I set in front of myself. My goal 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 weight for me is 135 or at least between 130 and 140 so i have a long way to go but you know what this is not going to happen in one month you're not going to lose i mean if, if there are people that lose 50 and 60 pounds within one and two months god bless you and there are people that do it it's just not me but i'm not less than i'm not inadequate and i'm not going to blame myself i'm just different so guys adopt that mentality adopt that philosophy you continue to do good good will come to you your you, your situation is unique to you don't compare yourself by any one else's standards just hold that mentality because it will get you through and that positive thinking has gotten me through you know the discouragement I briefly felt for not seeing what I wanted to see but again yes overall I have lost 50 pounds and I'm excited about that. Also, I have another non-scale victory. I'm doing 5.1 on my glider now. Hello! And you know what? My glider is very low impact. So it, it, it's for me, it's perfect because I have issues with my knees and my ankles. So I don't have to, I don't have the the jolting or, or, or the pounding of that I might if I had if I was on a treadmill. The the uh, the exercise is different as well. It's you don't feel the the pressure you would, so to speak, um, or the exertion you might spend on a treadmill. But you get the results. I'm telling you. And the reason why I say that is because I've recently started jogging outside, and I always had a fear of jogging in purse in public because. I was afraid of what people would think. And I'm like, you know what, Kia, instead of you thinking that they're looking at you and pointing and laughing at you, why don't you say maybe there's somebody that you're going to run past who might be inspired by you? And it was always, you know, I always had this secret desire inside. I'm a person who loves to inspire, and I actually inspire a lot of people. Um, just in things that I do, I notice that I leave a mark when I enter someone's life, I leave something, I leave an impression of some sort. And I felt like inside, that's just what I was here to do, to inspire in whatever it would be. And I always wanted to inspire the women in my neighborhood to jog. And I'm gonna cry. I'm just a big baby sometimes. But, you know, I say that to say that, you know, maybe me jogging in this body will inspire someone else who wanted to jog but maybe felt ashamed to jog because they were afraid of what people might think about them too. So, you know, we have to understand in life that the things that we do is just not for us, although we do re benefit. So everyone is affected. Everyone around you is affected and I'm affecting people and inspiring people that that aren't even around me but through the medium of internet and YouTube there are people who you know who feel inspired by my journey so my non-skill victory for this week is that I overcame my fear of jogging 
outside and I now jog outside and what I was going to say and, and just relate this to, the, to my glider that although my exercise is different when I jog than on my glider, my glider has conditioned me now that I can jog and not get tired. Like I was so shocked. I jogged. To, last night I had to go to um, the school because they were having a meeting at the school for the fourth grade and my oldest daughter is in fourth grade. So I went up to the school for the meeting and I jogged there. I started out brisk walking and the next thing I know I was like, Kia, you could actually jog. Just try it. And I had to get over that mental block of jogging. And I just said, screw it. I'm going to just jog. And I started jogging. And I wasn't tired. And I felt the burn. And I felt, you know, I'm like, okay, now I feel this, what this running does for you. It does something different than the glider. But my glider helps because my glider is what prepared me for that run. I would have never attempted that had I not worked out every day on my glider. My glider has stretched my legs. I have a bit of a longer stride now. I told you guys, when I started on the glider, I was like 1 mile, 1.92. Now I'm up to 5.1, 5.2. I mean, it has really conditioned my body and my endurance is unbelievable. So you know what, guys? I didn't see it on the scale, but I see the results and the reward for my work in other ways. And I hate to come on here and be such a blubbering idiot sometimes, but this is really cathartic for me because this is like my way of releasing, you know, what my experiences are and some of the things I go through. But um, I see my time is running low. I always talk, 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 talk. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for following me, for being with me on my journey for celebrating with me, for shedding a tear with me. But most importantly, thank you for being my friends. I love you guys. I wish you absolutely positively the best. I pray that you have a successful, productive, and enjoy an enjoying weekend. That's not what I want to say, enjoying. Is that a word? It will not use in that context. But you guys know <laughs> what I'm saying, okay? Forgive the tears, but mwah, I love you for listening. Talk to you soon. I might come back with another video because I actually had something that I wanted to talk about that was on my heart that was not related to weight loss, but related to weight and some of the things that I am overcoming with weight. So, you know what, guys? I'll be back. So, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.